Two men are dead tonight after a single engine plane crashed in South Bibb County. It happened around 630 this evening. 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent has been out there all night. He joins us now with the details. Tucker, do we know at this point what caused the plane to go down? No, Andrew, we don't know exactly why this plane crash, this plane went down tonight. What we can tell you, though, we do have some new information for you. Bibb County Coroner Leon Jones tells us that as of now, he has spoken with what he believes to be both the victims' uh, wives, and he believes the victims to be, now pending autopsies, uh, the victims to be 58-year-old Anthony Caveza and 71-year-old Julius Gilreath, both men from Greenville, South Carolina. They're not here from the middle Georgia area. Again, that's only um, temporary confirmation from Leon Jones. He did say he, speak, he spoke with both the, the men's wives, but the autopsy results won't be in until Wednesday or Thursday. Now, the crash actually happened tonight just before 645 in a swampy wooded area off um, Fagan Road here in South Bibb County, actually St. Uh, Clara Road. Now, originally, uh, we were told that three people had passed away, but it, of course, that number was changed to two. And again, those names are 58-year-old Anthony Caveza and 71-year-old uh, Julius Gilreath, as we believe right now, pending those autopsies. Now, again, the autopsies aren't going to be done until Wednesday or Thursday, and these people have to sift through all this wreckage. Again, the, it's way back off, off in the woods, so it's going to be hard uh, and a, a tough few days uh, for investigators going forward over the next few days. It's going to be rough. Okay, It's going to be rough getting bodies out there. I had thought about using a helicopter, so we scrapped that idea. So we got to do manpower, but it's a long ways down there, at least 500 yards. And again, uh, Keith Holloway with the National Transportation Safety Board tells us they will be here tomorrow to investigate, and I'm sure it will only be tomorrow. They've they actually brought a, a backhoe, a bulldozer in here to try to cut a path through the woods to even get back to it. So it's well off the road, hard to even get to. And uh, again, two people, we, ha we can confirm for you, two people have passed away here in a plane crash today in South Bibb County. Now we're going to stay on this story and bring you the latest on 41NBC and 41NBC.com. But for now, reporting live in South Bibb County, Tucker Sargent, 41NBC News.